Today is Monday, January 26th, and I'll be training legs. Normally I train legs on the weekend, but my split was all weird, so I did like arms pretty much. So I'm going to start off with legs this week and then continue. So if things happen in life and things, I mean, I worked for all weekend long and all day long. So it's like 10 o'clock something, to like 10, 15 at night. So you just make things happen. I mean, I'm on like a crap load of pre-workout. I'm getting numb to pre-workout. So you double the doses, triple the doses, do whichever you got to do. And so I'm moving forward. So it doesn't matter what goes on in your life. It shows, Mike shows the contest. If you ever do a show or something that puts pressure in your life to rise to the occasion, so you can't make excuses because when the day gets there, you got to perform anyway. So you just got to just gotta make things happen. With that being said, I'm going to start with leg press and we're going to go foot to flow. I'm going to pound the crap of the legs from different aspects and give you an in-depth uh, training session of my legs. It's more so like rehab because I can't feel from the knees down. I'm diagnosed as a T12-L1 incomplete paraplegic, meaning I broke my back, damaged my spine, and I'm fused at T11-L2, um, L2, which, and they shaved off part of my left hip for additional bone from my spine. I do got titanium rods in my back. They're supposed to be the strongest metal in the world, and I'm gonna put that to the test tonight. With the leg press, I'm, I started with three plates, and I'll do two warm-up sets, and then uh, a third set with a four plate, and um, a fourth set, my starting weight with five plates, and I'll go from there. Mine's different, and um, I wear braces, so my foot's at a 90 degrees angle. I put this, my feet, since I don't really have great aim, I leave about that much of my toes off the plate because I press with the base of my feet. And I'm gonna lift my, my things, my, my pants up, so you can see I'm trying to get a 90. A 90 what you look for, go, it's not about going down, it's the middle of your calf to the middle of your quad. You want that at a 90. That's the key of doing uh, leg press. Let me show you. So when I come here, get about right there. That'd be like about 90. That's technically how to do a leg press. I'm just gonna warm up. And when I come down, I just stop it right here, and I can press it up. But it's just, I don't have the type of control like most people do. Because I'm working with limited. All right, that's about 12, 15, whatever. I'm gonna do more of this. But a warmer muscle extracts harder than a cold muscle. And you know what? This is the best that I can do, and I have to stop it, and I'm making adjustments for what, what I work. And yeah, there's over the years, many people like make comments about my legs, they make fun of my legs and all this stuff. That's fine. And um, you just learn, if like things ever happen to you, you will have to deal with the same type of stuff and go through the same type of things in your own, you know, whatever world it is. And what, everybody's condition is different, so you can't really compare yourself to others. You just gotta make it work for you. So I'm gonna warm up. Two more sets and then you'll see the first set with five plates. Now this is going to work is I want to film the first and the last of each set and give you guys tips in between and so forth uh, for sets. Sometimes you will, sometimes I don't. And along the way I kind of give it's a bit of educational, motivational and uh, so you can follow my journey. So you guys understand what I do, why I do, and how much I do and my reasoning why I do what I do. So here we go. So I've got five plates on here. You know, maybe aim for about 12 reps, we'll see. First it off. Uh. 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 set I did five five six and this is seven seven forty five on each side how much weight it is um I don't know fourteen I don't know it's gotta be like six hundred and thirty or seven hundred pounds right around that um, I just know I'm doing seven plates I don't <laughs> I know it sounds crazy but I don't really pay attention to the weight it's just like add more resistance I don't have 20 bucks. <laughs> no. I don't know. This is just the system. All right, we'll focus. It's going to be heavy.
my knees. This is different when you can't go nothing from the knees down. And literally, you can see my, uh, I think it's fake. See, here's the ad, it's the shins. You gotta see my forearms to that. I, I can pull out hairs. I can't feel nothing. Uh, and I'm just exhausted. And I, I can step in and out of like zones when I train, because it's years of experience, but this is it for leg press, moving up the next. <laughs> Teambodybuilding.com, moving to the next exercise. Now moving on with my leg workout, I go up to the next strong movement of the eye, which is leg extension. So I, I kick out as far as I can and try to keep it under control so much. And I move the weight, so I got 180 pounds on there. sets between 12 to uh, 12 to 15 reps. I'm gonna play around with it. I'm gonna do one more weight with this and then neither go up or down just depending on how I feel. But that's just how I do my leg extensions. This is my fourth set and I went 180 pounds two sets and this is 200 two sets. That's the vibe I got. Um, I don't know, I might eat on the energy, but I'm pushing through. So like it zaps a lot out of me when I work a lot, and um, I'll be switching in the mornings more, just trying to get a balance. I've got a lot of things, a lot of projects going on right now, so it's tough. Uh, that's no excuse though, so fourth set. Sometimes I grab a quad here, sometimes a hole in here. Why do I do that? I don't know, it's just, it's just a mixed gut habit. As long as they kick it out. Don't, be, don't get me wrong, it's like you gotta be careful to not bring your, bring your butt up to the seat. So it's easy to you lower the weight and you kick it out like, oh, that's perfect form. You're doing such a good job, but you're not gonna be able to handle the weight. You gotta lift and push yourself, regardless of the shitty form or not. And that's what it is. A lot of people get that misconception. And in the beginning, learn. If you're a beginner, stick with the basics. But as you get older and more experienced through workouts, not older in age, older in muscle maturity, it's totally different. My muscles develop totally different now. And it's like in the beginning, you have to have base of like lifting experience. But then it's like once you have certain quality of muscle, you can lift like partial forms and other stuff because your body adapts. It's crazy. It's like, um, there's a, whatever, I forgot, there's like other things when they move this limb and replace it. I don't remember. I can't even think of it now. But it's something like that. But anyway, let me go off on a tangent there. It's like neat vision. So that's two exercises, four sets each, plus warm-ups. So more quad exercise. Today it's just quads. And then uh, later in the week, I'll do hamstrings and glutes and other stuff like that. Moving on now. So the first two exercises dominate the quads really efficiently. Efficiently, I mean, don't get me wrong, squats and lunges are ideal, but those aren't just in my exercise category because I can't do that. So I make it work with what I can. And I got pretty decent quad development, and maybe one day I'll show you that. And one picture that I did with bodybend.com that actually revealed my legs. I think I'll just overlap it right here. Picture. But anyway, um, I'm gonna, these are adapt, 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 adductors. Adductors work the inside of your legs. AB doctors work the outside. Add, think of add, A, D, D. You bring your legs together, you're adding them together. So, this is, breaks up the quads. So, I've got 60 pounds on there, I'm gonna rep it out. This is more, I'm weak in this position. Now when doing this stuff, I mean I got 60 pounds on there, um, I 
push myself to my limit. I'm gonna increase it, but it gets extremely difficult. And sometimes I go down to eight reps to just add more strength factor. Um, when, I, when I train legs, it's not about bodybuilding because I don't show off my legs. It's more like a rehab factor. So like a lot of people may get this mixed up. Um, I don't train legs for being a bodybuilder. It's more so rehabilitation for more stable for my walking and actually just daily activity of life. It's two totally different. Upper body, bodybuilding. Lower body, function. And I'm fine with that. And it doesn't have no factors. I do want bigger quads and, and my calves are totally different. So I can't move my feet, so I can't develop my calves. And I do over the years just learn to accept it. I don't really care. It's part of who I am and whatever. I can stretch it, but that's about it. That's a whole nother video of Nick Scott lower leg rehab stuff. So I can show you and go in depth so you can have a more better understanding of my uh, my diagnosis, my paralysis. So I'm gonna do maybe a total of five sets here because it's more like rehab in the inner quads. So I'll tell you what I do in between when you see this right now. I went up to, I did 75 two times, I did 95 two times, and this is 105 uh, for the second time, plus this little extra, but I don't count that, whatever. Um, you're gonna see how I do it heavier, and I help myself, and I release. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. Uh, let me get a couple going. So this is me doing it. Two, three, four. It's not touching. Five. So I squeeze it, and then I just let it go. So that's what I do. Please let it go. Squeeze. Just help myself. Just keep it going. I help myself. Oh, that's good. I basically. So I squeeze my leg. I do as much as I can, but I just help it close. So, like, every, people think that's cheating. It's not cheating because if you help it, you keep it steady, your legs are still going as much as it possibly can. You're just finishing the set. So then when I let off, my body can handle the weight coming open. So it's actually a, it's a, it's a genius way of actually tearing the muscle fibers down to enhance, you know, muscle growth and stability. I do it on different forms when I train the upper body. So just make it work for you. Uh, one more exercise and I'm done with the quads. So I'm getting extremely tired and my energy is like going. So you just gotta fight through it and fight the battle. This is gonna be my last exercise and I'm just gonna film it one time and you'll see why. I can't do much with the outers. Whereas I do ad adductors, the opposite is abductors. Spreading the legs open. And this is why. So, right here, I got 30 pounds on plus this little base plate. Watch when I try to open it. I can barely do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and this one's with you, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. It's almost, if I don't use the momentum, if I start right here trying to open it, I literally have to use momentum to spread it. If I just go right here to try to open it, I can't do it. I literally have to basically have the base plate, then I can go from here to open it. From here to open it. If I just add one plate, if I just have it right here trying to open it, like I can barely do it. But I can, if I swing a little bit, I can actually come out a little bit more. So it's pop it open. Use the momentum to really ignite it. Because that's the only way I can really do this. Because and there's no point. It's just like rehab. There's nothing significant about it. Just spreading your legs open. I'm gonna do probably four, five, six sets and just really do 15, 20 reps. Why? Because if I try 45 pounds, even with the swing. See that? I get rah, I'm really happy. I'm really swinging the crap. 60 pounds. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe I do a set like that. But that's the gifts of 
fourth quad exercise, my legs are very weak and I'm trying to strengthen it. And on another leg exercise, I'm going to show you different, like different movements that I do to try to ignite more muscle fibers. Not that I don't want to lift heavy here, it's just the spine, my nerves and my, my spine are all jacked up from my accident back in uh, 98, August 98. And um, it is what it is, just take it as it goes. In conclusion, just do the best you can. I mean, I'm, I'm showing you this because regardless of what I do and how I am and my transformation around the world and so forth like that, I push myself to the best that I can be. I don't really care what others do and what others, you know, at their limits. That's great for them. If they want to hit personal records, BR, and so forth, the strength level, that's great for them. But I have other goals and other you know, purposes why I do what I do. And this is really to educate you and help you. And if you got questions, if you got feedback, you know, ask me questions. I'll be starting that question and answer section on my uh, my totally different like vlogs. It's the Q and A, uh, and I really want to answer questions and give you guys feedback and help you find the answers that you're seeking for. And I see some questions and so forth for many years. So. Um, I'll help you guys. That's the point of all this. So share this with your friends, mother, brother, mother, brother, sister, auntie, uncle, nephew, nanny, whatever. Share it with the world. Tell them you'll learn it from next guy. On that, I'm out. Peace. Until next time. Wheelchair Athletics Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that provides and supports disabled athletes. Please support our cause. Volunteer, donate funds, mail items for the eBay store.